We've been waiting for this moment. There's been so much talk about how Battlefield 5 is such a poor implementation of ray tracing. Now, we finally have the world's first completely ray traced game. And we're gonna be showing it to you right here, live here at UFD Tech. But before we do any of that, I need to let you know that today's video is actually brought to you by our charity live stream that's happening this coming Friday, January 25th. We're gonna be raising money for orphaned and vulnerable children here in Southern Africa. So if you guys would be willing to show up, you can donate to the charity. We'll be giving you more information as we get closer to the stream. Or if you don't wanna donate, you could just stick around, help us stay awake through that 24 hours, chat with us, give us your Q and A's, spend time goofing and gaffing with us it'd be a lovely experience. So January 25th, it's UFD Tech's second annual charity live stream. Come join the fun. I will say that while I am saying ray tracing, it's not technically ray tracing, it's actually path tracing, which is a little bit different. You see, with ray tracing, you have the origin of light, and then you you know, calculate all of the different rays that are coming off of that piece of light. However, that's a waste of computational power because light shines in places that aren't being rendered in a scene. So instead, what it actually is, is path tracing because they render it from the point of view of the person on the monitor back to the light source, thereby not wasting any resources of actually calculating where the light is going. This is a big deal, my friends. This today is a step up in video game graphics hardware. And I'm gonna be showing it to you, starting off with this GT1030 that's sitting right in this system right here. You see the 1030 from Zotac, just chilling nicely on our 9900K, 16 gigs of RAM, all of this. This is a lovely system. Let's go ahead and load up. Okay, what, why? I, I have a chair. Why am I leaning over the chair to do this? Let's go ahead and pull up some frame rate indication. And let's load the game. I'm excited. I hope you guys, here we go. First ray tracing game, Quake 2. Quake 2 is the world's first ray trace game, completely done, no rasterization whatsoever. And why, uh, the reason I'm showing you on a GT 1030 is because as you can see, 250 FPS right there uh, on a 1030 at 1440p. This is just, uh, this game, not that intensive. As you can probably tell, this is not the ray traced version. This is just the original version. This is the demo, actually. I was able to download it and it crashed. Fantastic. Anyways, the whole point is this GT 1030, without even breaking a sweat, can run 250 FPS on non ray traced version of Quake 2. But let's go ahead and show you the project that people have been working on for the past several years trying to implement a fully ray trace game. And one of the big things that has allowed it to come to fruition is the fact that we finally have RTX cards from Nvidia. So as much as we might wanna meme about ray tracing cards, they do have hardware that actually makes it enable ray tracing in a way that other cards can't. In fact, this demo has been run with a 1080 Ti. And as you can see on the screen right now, there's a lot of missing gaps. There's a lot of noise that's going on because there's no way that they can run a denoising filter on top of actually ray tracing the scene. And one of the big improvements that Nvidia brought with Turing is the fact that we actually get a denoising filter built in and it allows scenes to look a lot more glorious. So while the demo that you guys saw with the 1080 Ti looks horrific, we're gonna pop open this RTX 2060 from ASUS, the 2060 Strix, and we're gonna show you what a fully ray traced video game finally looks like. So the way that you guys can do this, it's very simple. We'll leave a link in the video description. You can download Quake 2. You can download the Quake 2 ray tracing version. It only works with RTX cards because it uses the Vulkan library and currently that's all they allow it to, to work on. So everything that you would need if you have an RTX card to actually run this demo is left down below. It's super simple. You download the Quake 2 demo. You download their information from GitHub. You copy over a few files from Quake 2 and then you're good to go. So let me just go ahead and pull up some uh, statistics and let's pull up the ray trace version of Quake 2. You can see right here, it's running in monitor mode. We're actually gonna change that. We'll have it running at 1440p. They do say that there are bugs. Uh, do this at your own will and at your own discretion. There's not everything's perfectly set up with this. Come on, haha, 1440p. See it's running Dul Vulcan now, Dulcan. 
Hey guys, this is Duncan. And look at that light. 1440p with an RTX 2060, 31 FPS right now. This is gloriously difficult. If you look, look at those reflections right there. We're obviously gonna screen cap this guy so you can see a bit better. But this is, this is hammering it quite hard right now. All right, so on the left is ray tracing on the, no, on the left is no ray tracing and on the right is ray tracing. Look at those effects. Those are terrible right there. Hello, friend. You can actually see the reflection of the light bullet as it travels along down the hallway. This is gorgeous. This is, okay. Yeah, so the, the, the red light in the sky, red sun, wherever we're calling it, actually turns the entire scene red, whereas this one is just obviously a gross baked light map crap. It's reflecting everything. <laughs> including the fact that the character model is just an arm with a gun. There's no face. There's no character model be besides the arm and the gun. I guess you can't see anything. It's like a full opacity reflection that's going on here. And I can see what's above, but I can't actually see what's below the water. Okay, that's a problem. Like once you go below the water, you can see it, but not when you're above it. <laughs> you can still see the reflection when you're under the water. Great, yeah. Wow, like it's actual red light. It's not just light that's there. Wow. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, like it actually illuminates the entire hallway. Wow, that's gorgeous. Like for a super old game, the lighting on this is fantastic. The effects aren't that great. I'm actually kind of blown away by this. Like it's super easy to tell which one's ray traced and which one's not. As opposed to, you know, our uh, our Battlefield 5 video where hardly anybody could tell which one was ray traced and which one wasn't. This one is completely noticeable from the first second that you're actually playing the game. Like the game actually looks completely different. Like this scene is not red in the non-ray trace version because it's not actually reflecting the sky. Okay, so I busted out. That That's enough of the side by side for now. Come on, kit, shut down. So the whole reason I busted out the 2060 was to show you just how bad the frame rate actually is. Look at that part with the explosions, getting down to like 24 FPS. Come on and show the FPS. We're, we're averaging about 30 right here, which isn't great. Obviously this is 1440p, uh, which isn't, which isn't the, no, I mean, it's pretty strenuous. So r roughly an average of 30 right now, 30 FPS. Let's go ahead and drop the resolution down to 1080p. Okay, so changing it to 1080p gives us about, what is that, 60 FPS, is that right? More, more about 60 FPS, eh, in the 50s, I guess. Uh, we're dropping a little bit below 50 when there's actual stuff happening. Oh yeah, those explosions definitely hurt the FPS, getting down to around 40. One of the best parts about this entire thing is that the CPU is just like, are, are you even running a game right now? Because, uh, you know, I only have to use 3% and I can drop down to 800 megahertz and have no problems whatsoever. This is what you call a bottleneck, kids, completely GPU bound. Yeah, around 50 FPS when you drop down to 1080p. You can hit 60, but it, it doesn't look like it's averaging that. So, that's a 2060, which we have. Let's go ahead and swap it out for a 2080 Ti and see what the best ray tracing experience we can possibly get is. Finally, full ray tracing, $1,200 GPU, and uh, a, Century old again. Let's go ahead and pop it up. 1440p, 2080Ti, and we're getting about 50 to 60. Yay! It's about 20 FPS better than the 2060. Oh, here's a solid 60 FPS right there. 62, okay, okay. And it's not V-Sync because it's 144 hertz. Uh, so, and V-Sync's turned off. Wow, 60 FPS, that's all you get in here. On a 2080Ti, 1440p, and it crashed, fantastic. The reason it's getting basically battlefield level FPS is because it's not anything besides the ray tracing that is hitting the hardware quite intensely. As you can see, the CPU percentage is nothing. It, the actual rendering of the textures, it's nothing. There's no rasterization taking place. It's completely path traced, which is causing the, the GPU to choke on itself because the uh, ray tracing cores and tensor cores are struggling maybe just a little bit. So I knocked the resolution down to 640 by 480 and then there we go looks like we can get 250 fps that way with ray tracing on so that's great 
Oh yeah. You want 144 hertz ray tracing? This is how you do it, friends. This is 240 hertz level. You could have that Alien War monitor be completely set right now. This is how everybody wants to experience their games. Completely realistic lighting. Let's uh, let's up the resolution. Let's see if we what we can do at 720p. There we go. 720p, still roughly 200 FPS. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Mmm. This is perfect. All right, at 1080p, the 2080 Ti can do like 90 to 100 FPS. That's pretty solid. I'll take it. I have no idea what I did. What is going on? Hi, friend. Is this like all of the ray tracings? Because I, what is this? Like all of the reflections are there. This looks dope. If I could actually see where things are, it would be pretty cool, to be honest. Oh, hi, friend. I don't think this is how they wanted the game to be. This is trippy. Reflections on reflections on reflections on reflections. I love that the character is just an arm. I presume I'm standing on water right now. It's a hall of mirrors. I don't even know where the like actual person is because I could shoot that guy, but he's behind me. Ah, so there you have it. If you guys actually want to check out ray tracing completely, you have an RTX card, you can do so at the link in the video description. We just wanted to showcase what ray tracing is actually supposed to look like. Obviously, Perfect lighting isn't going to make your game look any better. This game still looks like it's from a few decades ago, but it actually does look pretty impressive. The lighting is clear. You can tell that this version's ray trace and the other is not, which if we can get this implemented into video games would be fantastic. Obviously, if we could get more DLSS going with the tensor cores so that it's not actually eating away at our frames just like this is, that would, why, friend? Why? So this is what ray tracing is supposed to look like. This would be an exciting future to actually have in video games. Hopefully Metro Exodus, when that releases in less than a month, can give us something more akin to this experience than what Battlefield 5 has implemented. Anyways, hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, get subscribed, stay up to date on all of our tech related content. Don't forget to check out our charity live stream coming up this Friday, January 25th. Mark your calendars, save your coins, donate to help orphan and vulnerable children in South Africa in Southern Africa. I apparently, when I say orphaned and vulnerable children, it sounds like I'm saying orphan in vulnerable children, which I mean, <laughs> uh, if you want to support us directly, you can do so over at our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash UFD tech. And I'm Brett with the UFD tech channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too.